Welcome. This is going to be a full review and my thoughts video on the Turnigy Trooper SDT 4x4 110 scale short course truck. Now this thing is available as an almost ready to run from Hobby King for I think it's about $170 or like in between $150 $170. Now um, this truck comes almost ready to run. You will have to supply your own charger, batteries, uh, transmitter and receiver but other than that it's pretty well set up it comes uh, stock with decent tires um, it's got a okay electronic system in it I haven't had any problems with it and uh, yeah so let's get into this review now I'm just gonna say right out of the gate that I absolutely love this truck for the price I think this truck is killer um, I do have a few complaints about the truck that we'll get into but as far as, you know, just being a decent truck for the price, I absolutely think it's there. Um, I have had a ton of fun with this. I have a few videos of it. I have taken it out several times without videotaping. I have let my friends just take it on 3S and just bash the bejesus out of it and here it sits in all of its glory. Um, as you can see, you know, this isn't the R an RC that I really care about. I like it a lot, but um, as you can see, I didn't even clean it up for this review. I just pulled it off the shelf and you know, brought it here to do this review video of it. Um, so, let's go over some of the stuff that I've done to this thing. And uh, this will kind of give you guys a generalization of why I appreciate this truck as much as I do. So, it's 2 and 3S capable. On 2S, it's okay. On 3S, it's definitely fun. It is no Traxxas Slash by any means. But I would definitely, you know, if I had a choice between this and Traxxas Slash, I would take this every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Because Sundays is my normal bashing thing. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it comes with a brushless system. It's got a 60 amp ESC. It's got a short can, you know, 540 size brushless motor. I'm not sure of the specs. I think it's a 3000 kV motor or 3300 kV motor. I didn't even look it up. Uh, the steering servo is slow, but it does work. You know, the more you drive it, the slower it gets. You know, it kind of gets fatigued as you drive it. And I've had so much bash and runtime on this, I think it's getting about to the end of its life. Not to say it's a bad servo, it's just taken a lot of abuse from me. Now, I had no idea if anything in this was waterproof or anything, but I have ran this in mud. I actually ended up submerging it in a puddle of doom. If you guys watch my channel, you guys, uh, you guys that do will know what the puddle of doom is. I actually ended up running this thing just full bore into the puddle of doom, and it survived. I mean, I didn't even know if the ESC or the servo was uh, waterproof, but apparently. Don't quote me on this because if you get one and you get some water in it and it shorts out. You know, I'm not saying it's waterproof, I'm just saying it. Mine didn't die doing that. Um, this is one of the only vehicles I have actually done a torture test with. Parachute! <laughs> um, 
it's just been an amazing little truck. I mean, for the price you get it, I think this thing is awesome. Um, anytime I'm going out and I have like a relatively newbie with me, or you know, I just I'm going out bashing and I don't want to take a chance of them breaking like one of my RCs that I'm still doing, you know, videos on and all of that stuff. Um, I just hand them this thing on 3S and let them go nuts. Uh, and it's just it just takes it. I I can't. Like, I can't believe how much punishment this little truck has taken. And uh, to date, I have broke, well, I, I don't know if I can say, I can definitely say I've broke two things, okay? I've had a few little mishaps, you know, with uh, shocks popping out and stuff like that. But as far as actual breakages, I've only had two. And this would be one, the shock... <laughs> Uh, it actually was running fine with this shock in the truck. I didn't even notice it till I pulled the top off and I was kind of cleaning it out with my, uh, with my air compressor, you know, and then I just blowing off the front bumper and everything and I saw the shock was all, all weird looking. I was like, what the heck? But the suspension was still working like that. You know, it wasn't getting stuck. It wasn't, you know, it was still working. So I didn't, I don't know when that happened, how long I was driving on it like that, but as far as like with the body on and just driving the truck, I couldn't tell the difference. So that was pretty, you know, that's one of them. And then my second one, like I said, I didn't clean it up at all, but uh, my second one, as you can see, is this little spot right here on the front bumper. Uh, that broke, and instead of ordering a new one, I glued it and then I uh, I just did this little jerry rig fix with uh, drywall tape and goop and it's been holding so you know the bumper still has you know does what it does so it's all good and like I said you know that's the stock um, ESC the stock motor stock servo I have completely submerged this thing. I've ran it through mud and everything, and everything still works perfectly. Everything still works perfectly. Even my receiver that isn't waterproof somehow has never like shorted out on me or anything. Maybe it's just the truck. I, I don't know, but um, I did put a new shock on it to uh, get it back up and running. I stole one from my uh, Turner G buggy. They have the same shocks. So I stole one from the buggy because I ordered an upgraded set for the buggy because I didn't like how springy the front end was. So I wanted more, a little more adjustability and everything with that. But, um, so we'll go into my dislikes. My, my likes about this truck are that you can just give it to anybody. You can basically do anything with it that it's capable of and it just takes it it's got you know it it's got pillow ball suspension front and rear it's got steel drive shafts front and rear i mean this truck just works as it is you know i'm sure if i put a bigger motor in it and bigger esc that it would uh it would start having problems but as it sits stock i love this thing so um now we'll go over the the dislikes now one of my dislikes is uh, the diff is sealed. It, it's a circular diff like that. It's sealed in a plastic uh, housing. But the chassis they used for this must have had like an open thing right here for whatever reason. But this tends to let dirt just shoot up into the chassis. Like every, every time you come down on the front, you know, like little dirt will just shoot up in there and it's the same in the rear here but you don't get it as bad as in the rear but that just cakes dirt up in and it just sits in here you know that's that's one dislike about this truck um my second dislike about this truck would be the body now when i first got this thing when i was first doing a uh, uh, first look video on it I did mention that the body felt super flimsy, and I was absolutely right with that. Um, the front is is good. Um, the top's kind of good. I do have 
some cracker and everything, but the rear just completely breaks out. Now you can see all the work I've done to this body here. You know, I've taped it, I've shoe gooped or I've gooped and drywall taped it in the front and just, uh, you know, kind of trying to keep it together. But the body is definitely one thing that, um, that could be improved. Now, the body is really cheap to get from Hobby King. It's about, I think it's like 15 or 17 bucks. But the shipping <laughs> to ship the body is more than the cost of the actual body. So I would, I would just suggest, which is what I'm going to do when this thing totally takes a dump on me, just breaks to pieces, just go to your local hobby shop and get, you know, your standard 110 scale short course body. You know, it's going to cost you about the same because, and, you know, it'll be a better body because this body isn't very good. Now, like I mentioned uh, previously, this thing does come with really good tire stock. Like, um, these tires do well on most services. I don't know if you add a bigger power system or whatever, but uh, yeah, this thing, I don't know. I just really like it. I really like how I can just take it out and I know it's going to make it through the whole session. Like, regardless of what I'm doing with it. If I just want to just drive it, hit a couple small jumps, it's really fun. And then if I want to just go nuts and just huck it full blast off of anything I can find, and it just hits the ground and just, I don't know, it just keeps going. I, I really appreciate this little truck. I think Turn G did an awesome little, you know, I think they did an awesome job with this little truck. Um, I might have just gotten one that was put together right. I don't know other people's experiences with this truck, but I know Ozzy or Vez from Ozzy RC Playground, he had really good luck with this truck, and that's actually why I got this thing. I watched that video, and I said, you know what? I haven't had a short course truck since I had my Traxxas Flash, and that was before I started doing my whole videos and everything, and I hated the Traxxas Flash. I hated that truck. Um, like with the utmost intensity. It broke every time I even looked at it. I swear I could plug the batteries in it and it would just fall to pieces. So I thought it was a, about time to try another short course truck. I tried this one and like I said, it's not a powerhouse. It's not the fastest thing on the road. But if you want a good reliable truck, I absolutely recommend this thing if you're looking at a 110 scale entry level short course truck. You can give this thing to a beginner and they can learn how to drive on it. Then you can kind of step it up and get better stuff. Or you can just use it as a basher. Or you can use it as your spare truck to just let people use whenever you're going out and you have somebody with you. I think it's perfect for that. And that's what I am geared more towards nowadays because, you know, I got, I've got RCs and, you know, I really enjoy this truck also though. So that's my thoughts on the Turner G Trooper and I absolutely give this thing a thumbs up, two thumbs up, recommend it. Um, seasoned hobbyist, newcomer to the hobby, this truck will, you will leave the bash field or the racetrack or whatever with a smile on your face. This truck is definitely put together right and has my seal of approval. I thank you guys for watching this video. Um, go ahead and give it the old thumbs up if you like this video. Give it the thumbs down if you didn't. Leave your comments and stay tuned to Killer Off-Road Hobbies. we got a lot more coming at you guys. And uh, you know we're creeping up on 600 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And we're going to keep this, keep this ball rolling. As long as you guys are liking what I'm putting out, I'm going to keep uh, putting out videos. Uh, I've got big plans, just, you know, I might not have anything new for a couple, you know, for a couple months, one, uh, maybe like two months, but after that, we're gonna, we're gonna get the ball rolling again, and you guys will see what'll happen after that two months. That two month period, it's, it's hard for me right now, I've got several RCs that I want to buy, but I need new camera equipment, I want something big and you guys will see it most of you guys probably already know what it is
So just the PS, I did get a Killer Off Road uh, Hobby shirt made. Killer Off Road Hobbies, we got Bash on the left sleeve. We've got our initials on the right sleeve. And hopefully you guys can see the whole back. But that's the back. Bash, crash, repair, repeat. Alright guys, you guys take it easy. Have fun. Peace.